In this video, I want to take you through three free plugins that open up a ton of possibilities for maintaining, updating, changing the design, and so much more when it comes to your WordPress website. Best of all, all three of these are totally and utterly free. So let's check out the first one, WP Sweep. So when you run a WordPress website, you're going to find that as you create content, there's going to be auto drafts, revisions, lots of other things. Database is going to get fuller and fuller and fuller of basically extraneous junk that can slow down your WordPress website, something we all want to avoid where possible. WP Sweep allows you to very easily rectify that. As you can see, this cleans up a ton of different things, things like spammed comments, deleted comments, revisions, auto drafts, so much more. And it's incredibly easy to use. So once you've gone ahead and installed WP Sweep, all you need to do is come into the Tools section and come down to Sweep. And inside there, this gives us information about all of the data inside our database for our WordPress copy. It also says, before you do anything, please do back your database up. And it is always advised before you make any kind of changes, delete content, do take a backup. And if you don't know how to backup or you don't know what tool to use and you have zero budget, check out the video I've linked in the description below and also in the corner somewhere up here that'll show you how to do just that in a couple of simple steps for no cost whatsoever. Check that video out. So what this basically does is it shows us all the different components that are stored inside our database. Things like information about our posts, comments, users, terms, things like taxonomies, tags, those kinds of things. And you also got your options and you've got a database sweep or you can go ahead and sweep everything, which I would only advise providing you've taken a backup and you want to get rid of all of these different things. If you like working with revisions and draft posts, you may want to avoid that option and leave those in place. However, you can see this tells us information about that particular content in the database. We can find out more details if there's details available. So you can see we can click, it'll give us some information. It'll tell us how many records there are for that particular content type. And then we can go ahead and we can sweep that to remove it from our database. So simply clicking on sweep, you can see that now gets rid of that, lightens up our database, removes content that's not needed, and speeds up our database and our WordPress website. This is especially important when you have a big website with lots of content, maybe even multiple users, all adding content, you can kind of control and make sure that everything is kept up to date and nice and clean and optimized. So I would really recommend checking out WP Sweep, totally free, but something that has saved my bacon many times on sites that get overwhelmingly large with redundant data that I just don't need. Next on the agenda is code snippets. Now, if you've been around the WordPress world for any period of time, you'll know a lot of things you want to do are going to be added into your functions PHP file. You may also have to inject code into the header or footer for your analytics tools, those kinds of things. And you may feel a little bit dubious about doing that because you may have had experiences where you've done that and your website has stopped working, you can't log in and it's become a bit of a pain. Code Snippets alleviates that problem by allowing you to add code to various different parts of your WordPress website without actually editing any files. And if something goes wrong, you can simply log in and you can turn that option off and therefore your site gets back up and running with whatever problem be it alleviated. It's really simple to use. So let me quickly show you. If you come into your WordPress dashboard, you'll see once the plugin's installed, you'll have a new entry called Snippets. Inside there, we've got some options. Let's come into Add New. And you can see now what we can do is we can add a snippet in. So we can give this a name. We can tell it where is it going to go? Is it going to go into the functions PHP file or is it content that's going to go into the HTML area? You can see we simply need to click in between the two of these. You can then choose where you want that snippet to run. So you could run it everywhere, front end, as in the website itself, the dashboard, which is the back end. You can run it only in the administration area. So if you're making changes to the admin, maybe changing the style, customizing various different aspects for your clients, you may want to run this only in the admin area. You could only run at the front end of the site. So it's an update to the front end. You can do that. And you can specify this only runs one time. So you may have something that needs to change. You want to run it. And once that's done, you can kind of disable it. All of that could be done inside you. You can drop in a description, add any tags you want to, and then you can go ahead and either type in or paste in the code that you want to use. This is perfect if you're a WooCommerce user because there are so many tweaks that you can make to WooCommerce simply by adding in a simple one or two line function. You can copy and paste that in using a tool like Code Snippets, paste that in your safe in the knowledge that if anything goes wrong, you can rectify it without any problems. So if we come back to all snippets, 
This will show us all the different snippets that we have. And you can see we can activate or deactivate any of these. And there's a couple of example ones inside here so you can test this out just to see how it all works before you start adding your own functions, your add and your own code snippets and so on. So you can see again, we can view just the functions if we want to, just the content or the HTML ones, or we can view all the snippets. And if you want more, you can upgrade to the pro, but the free gives you so much control. I don't think most users have to worry about jumping up to pro. So all you need to do is simply come in, click on the little toggle switch to make this active. And if you want to edit it, you can simply come into edit. You can clone it if you want to duplicate it and make changes and test various different things out. You can export it if you want to share it with other websites where you want that same function to be used. Great if you want to share it across multiple sites to do the same thing all over the place really quickly. And you can go ahead and delete it. And it even tells you what type of actual content it is, what type of snippet it is, so PHP snippets or HTML snippets. And you can see we can drop in our own custom little description, any tags you want, when it was modified, those kinds of things. If you want to edit it, you can simply come in and you can see inside there, there's our filter, there's our code, there's our tags. It's incredibly simple. You don't even need to know how to code anything. You can literally just copy and paste little code snippets from documentation, drop it inside you, test it up, and you're good to go. So that's Code Snippets, the totally free plugin that I do recommend you check out for WordPress. Now, the third one on our list is a much bigger plugin. This is the free or light version of Microthema. Now, you may be thinking, what the hell is that, Paul? Microthema allows you to visually customize and edit your design through CSS, but all done without needing to touch any code at all. You can touch the code if you want to, and you can get in and edit things if you're comfortable with it. You can simply use it as a basic CSS editor. However, it does an awful lot more. So again, let me just quickly demonstrate how this works, and then you can kind of test it out for yourself. So the easiest way to work with Microthema Lite is to open up the page that you want to edit on your actual website itself. And you can see at the top, we get the little bar that says Microthema. If we click on that, that will then load in the Microthema editor. And as you can see, we now have a visual editor. Now, bear in mind, this is the Lite version, so there are going to be features locked behind the Pro paywall. However, there's enough inside you to make this worthwhile using if you just simply want to dabble a little bit using CSS, but you're not comfortable actually hand coding things yourself. The other really nice benefit of using the free version is you can use CSS variables in a lot of instances. And now, what exactly does that mean? Let's say you're using a theme like Astra, which we are doing here. When you create your color palette and your fonts and typography and so on, they are saved as CSS variables, unique little pieces of code that reference that color from your theme. The benefit of this is if you make a change inside the customizer in your theme, when you use those CSS variables everywhere inside your design using either Astra's built-in features or using a tool like Microthema's sort of CSS variable integration, all those will change. This means you change in one place and all the edits, all the changes you make will be reflected throughout your entire site. This is something that's incredibly powerful and great that we have that even in a minimal form inside the free version of Microthema. But let me quickly show you how this works. So for example, you can see when we hover over any aspect of our design, we get this little green box around it and a little bit of code above it, which is the HTML selector that we would be targeting with the CSS edit that we would make using Microthema. So for example, if we come down to this heading, we can click on this and you see that now shows us all the path to that particular selector. And now on the left hand side, we can come in and we can customize things. So for example, we may come into the font and we may say we want to change the color of this. You can click and you can see we can now go ahead and make color changes directly inside here. You can also see we can use the variables, as I just mentioned. So you can click in here and you can actually type in the variable you want, or you can click on the three dots and all the variables that are applicable are all listed inside here. So you can see we can actually tap into these. So this AST global color is referencing the Astra global color. You can see underneath we have these variable WP preset color, which are WordPress preset colors. So if you're not using that function from WordPress, Gutenberg itself, you can ignore those. And if you're using the Astra colors, all those are available to you inside here. 
So we click on this variable, you can see that now adds that in and we've got the color being referenced and this is now being used inside our design. You can see we can come into lots of different areas and we can change things like font sizes. And again, we've got the three dots so we can come in and use any of the suggestions. We can use site variables so you can see we've got large, medium, small, extra large and so on. So you can very quickly and easily make customization changes to pretty much any aspect of your design. Like I say, some of these things are kind of locked behind that paywall, but there is more than enough inside you to really get stuck in, get a feel for it. And if you like it, you may want to upgrade if you need those additional features. But for a lot of use cases, the free version is more than abundantly powerful to do what you need. So that is three plugins for WordPress that are totally free that I absolutely think you need to check out for yourself. They have a lot of really good options to enhance your WordPress website to help you customize, optimize, and basically have everything running as smoothly as possible. But as always, I would love to get your feedback. Do you use these tools? Have you got tools you would recommend? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear. As always, all the applicable links are in the description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tets, and until next time, take care. Thank you.